Welcome to a unique journey through the fascinating world of the raccoon. In this documentary, we will discover the incredible adaptability of this animal, explore its diverse habitat, and reveal some of its surprising behaviors. Join us as we unravel the secrets of this charming northern inhabitant. Raccoons are found in various parts of the world, from southern Canada to much of the United States and northern South America. They have even been introduced into some regions of Asia and Europe, expanding their global presence. But where do they find their home? Raccoons are extremely adaptable and thrive in a wide range of habitats. However, they prefer to live in humid forested areas where they build their burrows in trees. Although we can also find them in farmland, suburban areas, and even in urban environments. The boreal raccoon has unique characteristics that distinguish it. Its black mask over its eyes and bushy tail with black rings are unmistakable features. Their front legs resemble human hands, making them skilled climbers and manipulators. Its color varies from gray to reddish brown and beige, adapting to its environment. With a robust build, they can weigh between 3 and 4 miles. However, this weight can vary depending on the habitat and the region in which they are found. Raccoons are nocturnal animals and are rarely seen active during the day. They are solitary except for the mothers who take care of their young. Their ability to climb trees and swim allows them to move efficiently in search of food. Raccoons are omnivores and opportunists. They eat a wide variety of foods, including fruits, nuts, invertebrates such as crayfish and insects, small rodents, frogs, fish, and even carrion. In addition, they have developed the ability to adapt to urban environments and take advantage of the resources available in suburban areas. Raccoons generally have one litter per year, with an average size of four babies. The gestation period lasts about 63 to 65 days, and the young are born blind and helpless in a tree den. Their eyes open between 18 and 24 days, and they are weaned at 70 days of age. As they grow, they learn from their mother and become independent early the following spring. As for their predators, raccoons have developed strategies to avoid threats, but they are still vulnerable to large predators such as coyotes, wolves, and birds of prey. Raccoon populations have experienced growth in recent years and have managed to adapt to human-dominated landscapes. However, some isolated populations may be at risk. Raccoon pelts were valued in the past, although demand has declined. Today, Raccoons are often considered a nuisance to farmers as they can cause damage to crops and chicken coops. They can also transmit diseases and parasites to humans and domestic animals. Despite these challenges, raccoons play an important role in ecosystems and provide us with the opportunity to learn about coexistence between wildlife and humans. And so, we conclude our fascinating journey through the world of the boreal raccoon. These charming and adaptable animals remind us of the diversity and beauty of nature around us. Remember, sometimes, even the smallest inhabitants of our forests can surprise us with their abilities and adaptability. We hope you enjoyed this documentary and that you continue to explore and learn about the wonders of wildlife. Until next time.